ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, grandma, grandpas, aunts and uncles, we are back with another YouTube video. Okay, Jack is on his way out right now, once again. We are doing a build off, kinda. He's already done some work on his, but we're gonna start building on mine. We got lots of parts, faster minis, T-bolts, bars, exhaust, all the goodies. So we'll show you what is going on there, and we'll get into the build off. Okay, the day has come. We are doing uh, the pit bike build off. Jack kinda started on his, he got antsy. But we got all mine here. I have not unboxed any of them, so it's gonna be like Christmas morning for me. I'm very excited. I took a peek at a couple of them, but for the most part, hopefully they're all there. Um, why don't you just like give a little rundown quick or like what you did to yours? Okay. Um, big bars, of course, mandatory. Did this little breather tube just for looks. It's like 10 bucks. Um, did the front fork springs, did damping rods, big foot pegs. And then on this side, just some good touches, but also protective stuff. So I did the sprocket guard, longer shift lever, uh, cradle, or no, not cradle. I have that too, but um, shift shaft brace. It's a mandatory on these Hondas. And then I did a bump start delete um, so I can start it in gear. Um, other than that, I've got a skid plate on the way and then the cradle. I think that's it. And grips, of course. So, much more proper, proper pit bike. Oh, I did a back shock too, DNM rear shock. Yeah. Thing is stiff as a rock. So, I'm excited to jump it now and not bottom up. <laughs> and also, if you can see, this thing leans so much more. Like, it's about to tip over, it looks like almost, but. I'm gonna dig into mine, start tearing my bike apart, and do a little unboxing here as well. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the, yeah, shorty brake lever from T-bolt for the bars. And then also this bad boy. This is the DN DNM shock as well. Look at how like robust this sucker is. She's beefy. Now I can send that TTR to flats and don't have to worry about bottom around. Before I was riding it and I would hit jumps and it did not sound pretty. So there's those. Also, the bars for my last bike I just kept. Ooh, this kind of comes in a neat little packaging. Springs, cables, some stickers looks like, faster minis. Got that, that's not too exciting. Tusk, same as Jack. Went and kind of copied him. Oversized shifter, blue foldable, a must. So when I'm dragging bars, it won't break on me. Same with this extended uh, brake lever. I think it's called the... Sick, like S I S I K, maybe or something like that. Uh, it's sick 110. Sick, yeah, that's something sick like 110. That. Save the best for last. So, you gotta. I already opened this, obviously. I could not resist. I was very excited. But, dude, you gotta see also just how, like, the packaging on this is so nice. BBR went above and beyond, I would say, for this. An absolute. Beauty. <laughs> Woo, doggy. Beauty. Little heat shield guard. I think this, this is the header that you call it. Mm -hmm. Alright, this is... Look at this. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Would you just look at it? Look at how nice this is. Dude, look at that. Look at how nice. And just look at the packaging, little. little carbon fiber tip action. Oh, dude. Ooh. Nice and shiny. That's shine. nice. Dude, it's so nice. Oh, it has the, oh, I think it's got the spark arrestor in there still, you wish I could take it out. Have her absolutely uncorked even more then. But all right, I got this from Moto Mummy also. It was on sale or like they're not marked up, wasn't. Marked it up all. It was cheaper. It was three thirty nine. So other places it was like three ninety nine. So if you guys are looking for BBR D three pipe, Moto Money, Moto Money, blah, blah, blah. Moto Mummy is a place to go. So get it going on the build. Get another look at that thing. Good work, BBR. Looks sweet. See if it sounds good. It'll sound nice. <laughs>
Okay, the bars are off. Keep this piece of garbage out of here. These things are for child, for kids. So, these. Over there. Okay, we just got the brake cable on. We were working at this thing for probably like 30 minutes. Yeah, I was gonna be like 45 minutes. Like way too long. Maybe for, I don't know how long it was, but it was almost a blood, sweat, and tears kind of thing. We got it on, as you can <laughs> see. It literally took both of us to yank this like thing out. Like pulling so hard. Yeah. What a freaking pain. Jack was like, all right, end of the day, it's just a brake cable for brakes, not the end of the world. So, so we, we just yanked on it so hard. <laughs> Little. POS came up. We are making some progress, slowly but surely. Bars are on, throttle cable, brake cable, all hooked up. Jack is now gonna drill a little hole in for his, for the skid plate to go down in there. Yeah, Honda used to tap this and thread it from the factory, but then when they came out with these EFI models in 2019, they stopped, so they have to drill it and tap it, which is such a pain, but what? it's not too hard. Yeah. That's exactly what you want. Okay, Jack has this, I guess, I guess I'll let him describe it. Yeah, so check this thing out. Let it focus for a second. Yeah, there. Here's the back side. So that's where your air filter goes. It goes right up against here. Air flows through it, goes to the engine, mixes with the gas. So I bought this as a mod. Look at that, you can see me through it. <laughs> <laughs> Can't see me through that thing, right? <laughs> So this is gonna have way more airflow. More air means more power. So hopefully it opens this thing up a little bit, gives a little more throttle response, some more pepper in the bottom end. So we'll see. Yeah. I'm excited for this actually. <laughs> like it's such a stupid little part. That's insane. These are the things that like kind of un uncork these things. Yeah. Thanks to the government, we have stuff like this <laughs> for emissions control. Yeah. That's more for exhaust, but still same idea. This thing will be barking now and then you just mount it or like put it right yeah, it just goes. Up. Up in the air box. Up in the air. And she's mint. Get the air filter on there. Good to go. Yeah. I think this will help a lot. I do, I do too. I guess you'll be the real determined rider. See if it is or not. So they say these uh, BBR pipes are uncorked. We're going to test it. I think they're lying a little bit. It's a marketing <laughs> scheme, what the heck? Yeah, BBR, what are you talking about? Come on. All right, we are down to the last, the best and last part in my opinion, the pipe. Throwing the bad boy on. This thing's so, sweet. I still, I like the red accents for Yeah, they're beautiful. And the carbon. She looks nice. We're gonna put her on and see how she sounds. That does it. We have finished our pit bikes. It is currently 9.42 at night. Um, yeah, this took a while, but it was fun. <laughs> no, I'm, it took a while. It was a lot of fun. I enjoy doing this. Yeah, it's fun. Um, we like originally thought about doing this as like a build off where like we race each other. Yeah. We'd have been here all day. <laughs> yeah, if that would have been the case, we would have been finishing and who knows what time because I mean Jack is definitely a little bit better at wrenching on things than me but you would have had to do your damping rods yeah and which should have taken like an hour I probably mine took like two and a half hours probably but we didn't like the forks on here were foreign we didn't know how to do that yeah so that was a learning curve yeah. and a stinking brake lever or brake cable it was so tight and we probably spent half an hour monkeying with it. Yeah, we ripped on that thing. Yamaha's got all their little tricks, like I mentioned before. But all in all, turned out well, I would say. Yeah, it looks sweet. Yeah, I agree. One problem with mine, the shock is like Here. bottoming out and clapped pretty much. I don't know 
What's I weigh the deal like with 150 it? pounds. This is for a 250 pound person. Hold on one second. Like, that's so soft. Okay. Yeah. This is, it's supposed to be the same shock as mine. And mine, you sit on, and it barely moves. The jack's just stiff as a rock. Mine, not so much. It sags way down. And I weigh like 185 pounds or so. So, I don't know, we'll have to figure that thing out. But now, we're gonna start them up. I get to hear what the BBR sounds like. Hopefully she barks. And then, obviously, we're gonna go out to the driveway, do some wheelies, and just mess around with a little bit. All right, time has come. She's on. Whoa. Jack and I are just ripping wheelies up and down the driveway. Got the light out too, so we can see us better. We can just, and we can see what's going on. Oh. So overall, how does the airbox screen delete kit work on oh, it? It's noticeable for sure. That's the only thing I did power wise. Oh, yeah. right up in first or second gear. That's all we like to hear. Before I had to pull up hardware in second gear, now I just like mm. Good stuff. I'm sure Dude. the bars help, but yeah. yeah. bars are a must. Okay wrap on the night. Jack's just packing up, heading out. I say, oh, <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Caught in 4K, he was. Oh, you almost <laughs> got it. There we go, we're good. You got it? Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, great success, always a blast building pit bikes. Heck what do you yeah. think? I, I'm bummed that it's the end of the year like it is. Because now I have to sit here and wait all year yeah. around. But, it was super fun to build them. We rode them a little bit. You'll probably see that. Um, but yeah, it was super fun. For sure. Yeah, we'll be itching to get out this spring. But as usual, appreciate your help, as always. He's a master on the pit bikes. Knows it very well. Yeah. As I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit slower with it, but we're getting there. We're getting there. So. It just takes practice. Yeah.